So to show that we can actually compile and build our application, we will create a simple Java program that displays the message hello world. But in order to do that, we will need to install the Java development kit from Oracle. The JDK or the Java development kit is a part of the Java standard edition. It is a development tools that includes the Java runtime environment, the Java compiler and the Java class libraries. So you need to make sure you got that downloaded and installed. If you don't have it installed yet, you can, you can basically download it from java.oracle.com. And if you have a Windows computer, it might have come with Java runtime environment installed by default. But you might still need to download the JDK. Some versions of Linux come with the JDK either installed by default or on the installation media. So from the Java homepage, click Java SE. And you can see many versions of Java SE. The latest Java SE 8 is used in this course. Oracle releases each version with the Java Development Toolkit, JDK. And for Java SE 8, the Java Development Toolkit is called JDK 1.8. So click on download under JDK. And from here, you can choose the version for your operating system. If you are working on Mac OS X, just download and run the most recent version. As of the time of this recording, the most recent version is JDK 8 update 51. If you are working on Windows, download the version for your copy of Windows X86 for 32-bit Windows or X64 for 64-bit Windows. Run through the installation for either version you will find that there aren't very many options and it is very straightforward. I have already downloaded to my desktop and I will fire it up by double clicking on the installer icon. If prompted with the user account control dialog, click yes. If you already have a copy of Java installed, you might see a prompt showing that it has been uninstalled. But then you can follow along with the rest of the prompts. I recommend accepting all default values. Once you have the JDK installed, what you are going to want to also make sure of is that you have Java in your path. When you install the JDK, the default directory for Windows should be similar to this. C program files, Java, JDK 1.8. And if we go into your environment variables on your PC, what you are going to want to do is to make sure that Java 8 update 51 is the first thing in your path. This path environmental variable is used by the operating system to look for the command that is executed at the command prompt. Without this information, the operating system is not aware of the location of the JDK commands. So click on the appropriate directory and then bin. And we just want to, to take that entire path and I'm just using Windows 8. So I'm just going to drag the mouse pointer to the right bottom corner of the screen. I will click on the search icon and type control panel. Click on control panel and the search box type environment. Then click on edit the system environment variables and now click on environment variables. In the section system variables, find the path environment variable, select it and click edit. If the path environment variable does not exist, click new. So now we just want to pass that entire path that we took before at the beginning of your path. And then of course, a semicolon at the end of that so that the rest of the path can still work. So now once you've done that, you can test this out to make sure that you have, that you have it installed correctly. You will need to open a command prompt window and then type in Java and then dash version, as you can see here. All right, and you should see if you have Java 8 installed or 
you should see that. And you should also be able to test Java compiler the same way by typing Java C and then dash version. Just to make sure you have the correct version, those should match. If they don't match, then you've got a problem with your path.